We are in Exchange Online in Office 365, and you see here the results of the get-mailbox command it shows us a list of all of our different mailboxes in our Office 365. So what I want to do now is we want to see who has access into Exchange Online. We don't necessarily want everybody in our company to be able to get into this. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can see who has access enabled. Let's go ahead and uh, paste in a command here, but we're going to get rid of the user identity portion and just leave that blank. So if we just do get user, find out who has remote PowerShell enabled, and hit enter. And we can see that every single person, it matches up to above where the get mailbox command shows, that everybody has access to PowerShell online. So that's not necessarily what we want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put in an individual person's name in just so you can see what they have. So we'll go ahead and type in John, as you can see from the list. And we can see that John has PowerShell enabled. Let's go ahead and clear the screen so we can get back to the top. And we'll go ahead and type that command again. Now, let's go ahead and disable John's access so that way he doesn't have access into the Exchange Online remote shell so he can't mess around with anything. This time we'll go ahead and put in the set-user command, and we'll put in John once again, and this time we'll put in dash remote PowerShell enabled space dollar sign false. All right, now let's see if John still has that enabled. We'll just go up a couple of commands. And we see John is now blocked. So John can no longer get access to Exchange Online PowerShell. If we change our mind on that, we can go back up a couple of commands and change false to true and give it right back. And let's take a look. And John's got it right back again. So that's how you add or remove access to remote PowerShell in Office 365.